Hey, what up champions? My name is Cyril Zuma. Welcome back to my channel where we talk all things photography. If you are new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon so you can receive bombers videos just like this one here. On today's episode, we are going to be chatting all things 21 day photo challenge SA. This is a hashtag that we basically ran around on Twitter for 42 days. We first started out with 20, first 21 days because we thought the lockdown was going to end after 21 days. Yes, I know, we all thought it was going to end, but it didn't end. And then it got extended, which became another 21 day photo challenge. In total, becoming the 42 day photo challenge. So, we're gonna start with the first 21 day photo challenge. I will be reviewing your guys' photos, the best photos I think that came out of the challenge. So, you guys stay tuned, I'll be going through all the amazing photos, what I like about the photos, what I thought was amazing, and why I think it followed the theme. Photo number one, his name is Wadinepe. He submitted a photo which looks absolutely amazing. So this was day one. The minute I look at it, in fact, I just love the way he used the outdoors, number one. And so he, you can see he balanced about two lights on here and he's also using the sun as backlighting. I just love the way he positioned the subject onto the side, giving you some space to wander around the image. We obviously see that the main subject here and the main point of focus is the lady on the on the picture here and then it also what, what's nice about it it leads you to the side where you can see the road here that's going on here you can see what's going on the sun hitting the, the the road i love how you know he used the sun as backlighting to separate the subject from the background i just love everything about this photo thumbs up to you Wadinepe, for this amazing photo the next photo is from jay Mashakwana. everything about this photo is amazing it absolutely followed the rule of thirds. If you look at the picture, you can see the subject is placed right to the far end of the picture. But what's even more amazing is where she is looking, which then tells the viewer, tells me as the viewer, that there's something that's going on outside of this frame that I need to be a part of. Not just that, I just love the fact that he, that he shot this picture during golden hour and those red, is it pink? That's pink, blue and yellow colors are popping out of there. It looks amazing. The only thing I would have done different about this picture is probably just get the back, the sky in, in, in the photo. And the one way to do that is basically use high speed sync. But everything about this photo is absolutely amazing. So thumbs up for me, Jay Mashakwane. The next submission is from Kalipa underscore Ntloko. So when I opened up this photo, I loved everything about this photo. I actually don't know where you shot it. It looks like it's Thailand. I'm not sure where it is. I've never been there, but I just love everything about this photo. And the reason why I chose it is how the cab is specifically just positioned to the side and it's bright and it's red. It commands my eyes. It commands my attention. It's just an amazing photo. It's a pleasant photo to look at. It's very unusual for a rule of thirds. I know a lot of people will go landscape, but this is a nice portrait and talks a lot about the rule of third it really stuck to the to the theme so I really love this photo and how you composed it is so amazing it's just one of those photos that I love looking at I can use as a screensaver and the color red shouts at me it says look at the car and I just love how it's positioned I love, I love how it's symmetrical you know there's probably a few things that I would have fixed but in the conditions that she shot it in I think this is a beautiful photo so thumbs up to you Kalipa what an amazing photo the next photo is from Tino Nyandoro. I think this is an amazing photo actually. Just looking at it, it's so calming. It's so, it's so refreshing to look at. I love the way he positioned the subject to the one side of the image. And then you have this blank wall, which has got this amazing brown color. You can see the amazing use of color on this here. I love the brightness of the, of the yellow dress. I love the necklace. I love the way that she's looking at the side of, of, of the image, which basically gives me as the viewer um, an idea that something is going on onto the side of the photo. I think this is an amazing photo. I love everything about it. I love the Afro on there. This is an amazing photo, Tina. It really is amazing. You retouched it very well. I love how the colors are popping once again. So great submission from you, Tina. Thumbs up, my brother. The next photo is from Enoch, Enoch QM, Enoch. I hope I'm saying that right. The point of view that he got from this photo. You can see that he took effort to take a photo like this. 
I think you climbed on a tree and collected some leaves, put them in a circle together uh, and had the model lying on there. You know, you had to get the leaves perfect because there's a, leaves in the foreground and the subject in the focus. It goes perfectly with the theme of rule of thirds. You know, I just love the way he positioned the subject. This is probably one of my favorite images, as I said. There's everything beautiful about this photo. Well done, Enoch. This is, this is pure beauty, my brother. Great entry. I appreciate a photo like this. It's good on the eye. It's perfect for me to look at. I can use this for almost anything. So thumbs up to you, my brother. What an amazing photo. I just want to give a special shout out to all of you guys who submitted to the 21 day photo challenge on Twitter and on Instagram. Your support has been absolutely amazing. The hashtag basically went all the way to Jamaica, USA, Canada. It was everywhere. Everybody was participating in a 21 day photo challenge. So I wanna say thank you to you guys from people who don't know anything about photography to hobbyists, aspiring and professional photographers. I hope that you went from an aspiring photographer to a hobbyist photographer or from a hobbyist photographer to an amateur photographer and likewise. So I really wanna thank you guys for participating. I really appreciate it. And I hope that we're gonna have more hashtags and more challenges just like this for you guys to learn and become better. I also want to give a special shout out to Phil. Phil is a photographer also based in Johannesburg and he sent me a message a few days before lockdown letting me know, dude, we need to find a way to keep photographers and aspiring photographers active during lockdown. And he sent me a message basically giving me just a bit of an idea of how to do something like a 21 day photo challenge. And this would have not been possible without you, dude. So thumbs up for me to you, well done. I also wanna give a special shout out to Wadinepe and Austin for also allowing us to retouch and edit their photos during lockdown and during the 21 day photo challenge essay. I wanna say thumbs up to you guys for allowing us to edit and giving people an opportunity to edit the work that you've done professionally before and see how you've also shot your photos before. And with you giving your raw files, you, you, you know, you allowed us to be able to see what kind of equipment to use. And I really appreciate that. Not a lot of people uh, would allow others to see their raw files. So I appreciate you guys for allowing us to retouch and also giving us some skills and teaching us along the way of how to retouch a little bit better as photographers. Well, that's it guys. Amazing photos. Thank you for your submissions. Those were my five favorite photos from the first day. I will be doing day two, which is black and white. Black and white is probably one of my most favorite and most interesting themes that we went through that we had to repeat it twice. So there's amazing photos on the stay tuned for the next episode. And if you have not subscribed, please subscribe, hit the bell icon so that you can receive notifications when I post the next video on black and white. Till next time. Keep doing great, keep shooting, and stay safe. Wash your hands, wear gloves, wear masks, where possible. Peace.